Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, yes, I got a commission uh, a couple of weeks ago and I will be showing you its process and uh, talking to you guys about the process and I'll probably rant a little bit. Who knows, maybe, maybe not. Anyways, let's dive in. Yeah, so as I said, this was a commission and the request made was for me to do um, a lion with an indian -y twist. And um, first of all, that's super, that, that just got me really excited because I didn't think I'd ever do something like this unless somebody had asked me to, like it wouldn't have crossed my mind. And I loved the idea of blending, you know, African style stuff with Indian style stuff. So I was like, yeah, right. Um, yeah, so I did a little research before I did my sketches. Um, I looked up Hinduism because I found that um, 90, oh, not 90, 78, I think, 70 something percent of India's population um, is of the Hindu religion. And so I thought, okay, right, this is, this is the route I should take. And, um, I looked into hand symbols i found that the hand the sun the sun sign um which is basically i think you'll see it if you rewind back and look at the sketches but it's um just your palm held out and then your thumb is holding down your ring finger and that's the sun sign and i was like i really like the way it looked and i like i liked what it represented um so i did a bunch of sketches of that and then i did um, some sketches of the lotus flowers and I thought wow I really like I really like lotus flowers when I looked into it more I found that lotus flowers um, symbolize immortality and humanity and they symbolize the divinity of perfection and I thought ooh, I really I like that so I don't know I thought to put those in as well because I've always liked the way lotus flowers look the way they float on the water it just looks really peaceful um yeah so the idea was to just have um a very peaceful um otherworldly kind of setting um i wanted to have the lady on the lion and make the lion look very intense and almost spiritual in a sense and i wanted the lady to look really peaceful just very much at peace with her surroundings and her state of being you know um the color choice yeah i just felt as though blue was a cool enough color very breezy and hmm, soft in its own way and so i was like yeah blue is the way to go and um i wanted a starry night sky because i just wanted i wanted to i wanted it to look like the heavens talk to this lady that's the vibe i was kind of going for and um the purples the purples i don't know i think in my brain i was like yeah purple uh, would go well with the blue because if it was all just blue then it would be a little bit boring i would say i don't know um there was a point I thought maybe I should put stars in the lady's hair as well. Um, but then I decided against it. I don't know why, but my brain was just like, nah. Um, yeah. The lion's face was the easiest to do. I'm not going to lie. The lion's face was the easiest out of everything. Followed by the lotus flowers and then the lady's face. The lady's face was the hardest. And her arm to the one that reaches down um, that one really gave me a lot of trouble because in the sketch I wanted it bent because I just assumed oh yeah if she's uh, on top of the lion and she wants to reach down to the water like she's dropping lotus flowers into the water then maybe her arm needs to take the shape of the mane kind of to just make it look then I thought no actually it makes more sense to have it straight so I changed it very many times and also I realized when it was bent, it was a, it was much longer. Yeah, actually there were many moments in this. There were very many adjustments I made to the lady. At some point her head was so big. At some point it was so small. At some point I painted her, like her hands really tiny. 
then I had to make them a little bit bigger um, oh yeah this was it was a it was a journey but you know what it was worthwhile mm. um, hmm. what else can I add about this painting the water was a lot of fun to paint so was the hair the hair the hair in the water I think was very fun because I was like ooh just wavy lines and you know just try and make it look like I don't know like it's floating and it came out exactly the way I wanted so I was really pleased by that pleased with pleased by I don't know English um hmm yeah not gonna lie though there was this this piece I think was a struggle because um, I don't know I think I think it it wasn't the painting that was a struggle it was more like my mental state and where I was while I was doing it I was just in a place where things weren't really coming out that like in my mind or in my creative uh, like in my creative state I just wasn't quite being I wasn't where I wanted to be let me just say that because um, usually I, I wouldn't really struggle so much with certain things especially you know if I'm painting a bit like human humans I do know that I need a lot of work to do I need to figure out human anatomy and get better at that but even when I have reference it shouldn't usually be this this big of an issue so you know I don't know what I don't know who to blame like I don't know what to blame me or my mental state or the situations like you know this whole corona thing and how it's been really stressful like I, I don't know I guess there's many factors to put in there's lots of factors to, yeah let's just add into this so whichever whichever it was I overcame it it was good I couldn't have done it alone because you know there's also friends and loved ones that I talked to that you know critiqued my work for me I'm always asking for critique I don't know how to work without it because it really just makes my work better I think it's because I ask so many people like what do you think about this what do you think about that and they give me their input and sometimes I'm choosy with what I decide to listen to because you know it's kind of like okay no let me not say that it's kind of like listening to your gut you know when someone says something and you're like ah this person knows and then when somebody else says something and you're like yeah no <laughs> but it's not all the time though you know sometimes most of the times people are people ha you know to each their own everyone has their own opinions and stuff you know but i don't want to say that i'm a hundred percent like selective no i i do want to say i'm very i'm very selective with the um the criticism that I let come in if it's coming from a place of malice and obviously I'm like I'm not listening to that if it's coming from well I don't know I really don't know where I'm going with this to be honest I'm just I'm just saying that <laughs> I ask for a lot of um, critiques usually when I'm when I'm doing a piece um mm -mm 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 trying to think of what else i can add to all of this oh i forgot to say that i did the sketch using acrylic paint because um instead of oil paint because the oil paint um usually i need to erase that with turpentine or white spirit and what i have available or what i had available when i was doing this painting um was a turpentine that just has a really really strong powerful smell and it's like I mean you can open the windows but I feel like whenever I um, use the amount of it's a lot of turpentine that I would need to use if I was gonna sketch out sketch the canvas sketch the painting with it and so uh, sometimes it just makes me a bit dizzy and I tend to get a little bit I just feel funny like I'm a little high it's like the turpentine makes me high <laughs> so I thought you know acrylic would just be nicer to use and um, yeah I hope the Kitenga montage was fun to watch 
because the fabrics is my favorite part. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed watching that process. Um, stay tuned for more and I will be coming up with content that isn't only painting based. Like I think I should t um, show you guys my tips and tricks on things and you know, kind of make my videos a little bit more, just a little bit different, you know? Um, so yes, thank you for, for, for taking time to watch this video. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe um, if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Stay safe, wash your hands.